Oh yeah, are artifacts that stimulate learning. They can be created uh, and shared using digital network technologies and used online and offline. Often OER made available under a Creative Commons license, which defines how that specific OER can be used. Anybody can create an OER. OER enable the free flowing circulation of learning artifacts, but can be useful for others. OER can be created by learners, facilitators, institutions, the wider public, anybody really. This means that OER can encapsulate a wide range of perspectives and save us time and effort. Anything can become an OER. It is however the making of OER that creates opportunities for deep, creative and critical engagement, for dialogue and learning. OER generate opportunities for diverse collaboration, for debate, knowledge creation and dissemination. I would like to see more collaborative OER and OER in different languages. Seamless glosses and in other Sprachen. OER that are cross-boundary objects, co-created as part of the learning process with students, staff, from different disciplines and different cultures, but also with industry and the wider public. OER that can be broken down in components, uh, blocks, just like Lego. Like that. Such OER allow more flexible adaptations and integration online and offline. I would also like to see more OER embedded into programs and practices that build community around them. OER with integrated metadata, that would be really useful. So it is time to stop seeing OER as content. There are so much more. There are learning blocks that have the potential to foster critical and creative exploration and collaboration. <laughs> If open education resources provide access to available learning artefacts, but also opportunities to engage with and contribute to these, what difference could OER potentially make to your practice? Something to think about.